If you're interested in infinite graphs, you will be happy to know that you can walk on infinite graphs as well. So in this short video, we'll take a look at how infinity plays kind of a curious role that makes infinite graphs a bit special in this respect. So first of all, what do we mean by walk on an infinite graph? Well, since the graph is infinite, we have more room to walk. So uh, there are three types of walks. We can have our regular walks that are uh, start with a vertex, end with a vertex, and go a finite number of steps in between. We can have one-way infinite walks where somebody starts at a given point and then walks forever. And we can have a two-way infinite walk where somebody has been walking since forever and walks until forever. And you can define trails and paths and so on as in the finite case. It doesn't matter so much. So remember, trail means that edges don't repeat. Paths mean that neither edges nor vertices do repeat. Now, here's a funny theorem. If you have a connected, locally finite, infinite graph. So remember, locally finite means that the graph is infinite here. But locally finite means that each vertex is connected to a finite number of other vertices. In other words, the degree of each vertex is finite for all vertices v. If you have such a graph that's locally finite and connected and infinite, then starting from any vertex, you can find a one-way infinite path, meaning that wherever you start, you can go on a walk that never repeats edges or vertices and keeps going on forever and ever. Infinity plays a curious and crucial role in this theorem. So how do we prove this? So let's start with V. You have any vertex V. Since the graph is connected, you have paths from the vertex V to any other vertex. So you have infinitely many paths starting with uh, the vertex v. Because the graph is locally finite, infinitely many of them start with the same edge. Why is that? You have infinitely many paths, but the vertex has finite degree, so you have a finite number of possible first steps. So by the somehow the pigeonhole principle, infinitely many of those paths will have to start with the same uh, edge. Very good. Now let's look at V1. Take one of these edges where you have infinitely many paths starting with V to V1. Again, by the same reasoning, there are infinitely many paths from V1 that start with the same edge. And we can choose this edge to be different from the edge going back or from uh, Rather, we can choose the second vertex V2 to be different from our starting vertex V. Why is that? If that were not possible, so if for each vertex different from the initial vertex, there are only finitely many paths from V1 that start with this vertex, then since paths cannot repeat edges, you cannot have infinitely many paths starting at V because all those paths will need to start, all those infinitely many paths will need to start with V, then some vertex V1, then some vertex V2 different from V because you can't repeat vertices in a uh, graph. So you will have to have the second vertex V2 different from V. And so on. At V2, you repeat the reasoning. You can prolong the path to V3 for V3 different from either of V and V1. I will leave the details out. Uh, and you repeat this at each step. And in this way, you can continue the path indefinitely. This proves you have the infinite path that you want to have. 